What is up folks and welcome back to the YouTube channel of the Six Hour Gods and in today's episode we are continuing our Okami Let's Play series and our mission to reunite the canine warriors of the Seitomi house. Uh, so unfortunately when you look at our map we have a circle here uh, but our path is blocked by this giant rock wall. Uh, but there's a dude here trying to get through so we can try and talk to him and see if he can give us any tips. Oh whoa! That changes things. So I guess once we pass through the Tory Gate, we can just go through. What about if we go around? Okay, so we have to pass through the Tory Gate in order to get through the, the wall. Okay. That's pretty cool. Guess that guy doesn't know that, does he? Sasa Sanctuary. Bamboo Village Sasa Sanctuary. Hami, isn't this the place that Mr. Bamboo mentioned? He said he couldn't get any bamboo to make his bamboo wear. Um, well, there's some right there. But well, we'll be on the watch out for some bamboo to get him. Right, so it looks like we have to proceed through this house here and lead us up to the top where the where the dog's located. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, you, Scruffy. What are you doing in Sasa Sanctuary? Skipping in here with that innocent look on your face. You have a lot of nerve for a wolf. You know that this is the turf of the Sparrow Clan, right? We can't just let you turn around and leave. Oh, no. We'll tan your hide and send you packing. Boss, let this cocky mutt have it. So we're gonna, getting into a fight. Oh, look at this. This is one big mofo. Hey, Scruffy. Do you even know who this is? This is the mighty leader of the Sparrow Clan. That's right. The Great Jamba. Big Daddy Jamba. Okay, boss. Take it away. He's all yours. Uh-oh. The boss is seriously angry. What the heck is going on here? Listen up, Scruffy. The boss's precious daughter has been kidnapped, and he's mad. We're doing everything we can to find her. We've searched all over. No one's getting through that gate until she's safe and sound. So go on, off with you. Huh? They're not going to let us in? And what was that about their boss's daughter being kidnapped? Well, I guess that we got to find the, the boss's daughter, so... Let's save and go on back the way we came. We're back, folks. Let's talk to this boy. Oh wait, where is he? Guess we have to pass through the gate again and then just turn around? Yeah, here he is. Let's talk to him. Hmm? Pushing this wall is exhausting. Ah, have you caught the scent of it too, Pooch? The scent of the secret place that welcomes only the good-hearted? The scent of Sasa's Sanctuary. Everyone that tries to go there gets lost around here. But that sacred gate there has to be a clue. This must be the place. And this is just between you and me. But... Sasa Sanctuary is where all the sparrows live, right? Well, I saw one of the young sparrow girls coming out of there. So I'm sure the, sa the sanctuary must be around here somewhere. I saw one of the young sparrow girls coming out of here. So I'm sure Sasa Sanctuary must be behind this rock somewhere. I wonder where that little girl was heading off to. I hope she hasn't gone anywhere near that nasty old couple. But never mind that. I must find the entrance to the sanctuary. Nasty old couple, eh? Well, let's try this house down here because... There really isn't anywhere else to go on the map. Ooh, we got, uh... Some darkness down here, eh? 
Well, that's not good. But this probably means we're heading in the right direction here. Let's talk to the, this guy. Huh? <laughs> what a tasty looking mutt you are. First that sparrow and now a dog. This is going to be quite a feast. The dreadful Mr. Cutter. Well then, come on, Mutt. It's dinner time. Oh, what? Get away from me, you freak. Jesus. I'm gonna smash your house up. You don't mess with Ami and get away with it. Oh, that's great. Just sharpening a knife, are we? Okay. Huh? What are you doing here, you shabby-looking mongrel? You've got some nerve coming into people's house like this. It would seem that the sparrow's in her little backpack there. That's what I would guess. I wonder if there'll be a moon again tonight. Moonlight can be a real nuisance for us, you know. It seems to give us strange powers and makes us show our true colors. So it makes it hard to keep up a pretense of normal life. And we get so hungry on nights like that too. <laughs> okay, um... What are you doing, you stupid mutt? Where are you trying to drag me off to? You must have a death wish, you miserable mutt! Hmm... Okay, so I guess... She was talking about the moonlight, so I guess let's try and wait until evening and come back. That's the plan. And we'll do a quick once around the house and see if there's anything back here that is of interest. Oh. Cool. That was convenient. What a dilapidated old house. Its rotted pillars are collapsing. I bet we can get on top of the house by climbing up this one. Aha! Good thing we checked around back. What do we have here? Looks like this one, this one part's been covered with wooden planks. Pretty sloppy job, I must say. I bet you could easily smash it to bits. Uh, looks like we're gonna have to slash. Bomb? Let's try bomb. That worked. Okay. Um, let's take these. And head inside. Okay, so we got some moonlight shining down here. So let's try dragging. Oh, we can't drag this guy. But we can drag her. Ah! You saw me! You saw me! Whoa. Where'd that shadow come from? It ain't human, whatever it is. So you saw me. Now I'm going to kill you. I'm going to eat you all up. Bring it on, yes, spooks. Come out and fight. What the heck are those things? The vultures of some sort? Giant old turkey people. That's what I'll refer to them as. Jump on me, jump. Jesus. Oops, slash this one up. Get some good damage off, slash again. You're donezo. Get back here, boy. You got nothing on us. Yeah, out of here. A little bit hard to hit, but overall not bad. And they did hit me once. Uh, 
Oh, it was so awful being locked away by those monsters. Feels wonderful to be free again. Thanks so much, doggy. Here, let me pet you. My name's Chun, precious flower of the Sparrow Inn. Flower of Sasa Sanctuary Chun. Is this the girl the boss of the Sparrow Inn was looking for? I better get home, otherwise Pop will be worried about me. But if I go alone, those monsters might catch me again. Would you come with me back to Sasa Sanctuary, doggy? Bah, this brat's a handful. Oh well, let's hang with her for a bit. Stupid. Why, you little... Come on, doggy. Let's go. Alright, so it looks like she's going to be following us for a little bit. But uh, it's not very far off to the, the sanctuary, so we should be fine. A lot of monsters kicking around, though. Let's try and avoid them. Just for the time being, we don't really need any money or anything right now. See ya, bud. Time to return you home. And get our second last doggy. Actually, got two more after this one, I think. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, you. Scruffy. What are you doing in Sasa Sanctuary? The whole Sparrow tribe is on high alert at the moment. No one gets through this gate until the boss's daughter is found. Huh? Ch Chun? Hi, I'm back. Chun, are you okay? Boss, boss, she's back. Chun's back. Pop! Pop! I'm sorry, Pop. I won't go out on my own again. Uh-oh. The boss is... Delighted! You sure about that? This white doggy saved me, Pop. You'll give him something to thank him, won't you? Chirp, chirp. Hey. The boss has accepted you. You're lucky. Okay then. You better come inside. Hopefully get our dog back soon. Let's follow her. Or not. I guess that's a different one. Oh, an elevator. Interesting. Whoa, look at all these treasure chests. We've been waiting for you. You did a great job finding Chun. We want to thank you too. When I told Pop about everything you did, he was really surprised. Weren't you, Pop? Chirp. Uh-oh. The boss is very impressed with you. I want to give you everything in these baskets as a reward. Oh, nice. That's what I'm talking about. You can rest at the inn down below. And the hot spring behind the inn is great for relaxing. Well, I'm going to take all of this. A bone. Holy bone S. Wooden bear. Traveler's Charm. Glass Speeds. Steel Soul Sake. Dragonfly Bead. Getting down there. Steel Fist Sake. A 
Vaz. And last but not least, we have an Exorcism Slip S. Um, okay, I'm thinking we probably have to go back outside. Or not. Here we go. This looks good. I'm thinking this is the correct way. This is what I'm talking about right here. Um, hmm. The gate shut tight. Hmm. Doesn't look like it's locked. How the heck were you supposed to open this thing? We'll find out soon, but let's dig here first. Lacquerware set. Looks like we have to fill this thingamajig up. Let's talk to the kid. Maybe he'll give us a tip on how to do it. Uh, excuse me. Wait a minute, please. This is Sa Sasa Bathhouse, Sparrow Inn's famous natural hot spring. But I'm afraid the water's run out. We're closed at the moment. What do you mean there's no hot water? This is a hot spring, ain't it? It happened the other day. There was a sort of earthquake. I thought I heard a monster roar. Then, the water just stopped flowing all of a sudden. Earthquake and a monster roar? wonder if it was that disturbance where everything went black. Ever since then, I've been praying for the water to return, but it's not showing any signs of springing up again. Never before in the history of Sasa Bathhouse has this happened. I'm so sorry you've come all this way, only to be disappointed. I blame myself. I must beat myself with my own fried drumsticks. Hey, cut that out. We hate taking baths anyways. Hmm. Well, this is interesting. I have no clue what we should be doing. Still water coming out of here, but... Jump behind here. Wow, check it out. That's one huge bamboo tube. Could something this big really work? These things tip back and forth from the weight of water inside them. I don't know if it's plugged up or what, but it sure ain't moving. I've seen smaller ones in gardens that don't need much water, but something this side would need some major heavy hydro power. We're talking to him again? What's down here? Ooh. Didn't see that before. Please, start again. I've prayed and prayed and prayed, but the water still won't flow. This is it. The end of Sasa Bathhouse. It's dried up now. What would my ancestors think? Beating myself with my own fried drumsticks will be a fitting end. I already told you, we don't take baths, right, Furball? Oh, the smell of this bamboo sure brings back memories. The bamboo from Sasa Sanctuary smells like no other. I can't wait to get started making my bamboo wear. I must finish in time for the festival. Hey, it's the old bamboo dude. Oh, hello, Wolfie. Little Sprite, thank you for all your help. Ever since you found the Sparrow Boss's missing daughter, entry to Sasa Sanctuary is possible again. I wish I could thank you somehow. Is there something you're having trouble with? Trouble? Nah. But that Sparrow over there seems to have a problem. Oh, what's wrong, Little Sparrow? Please, leave me alone. I had to put things right. I won't set a bad example for the others. If I sacrifice my flesh to the gods, they will revive the spring. Here we go again. You wish to revive this dried up hot spring? I may be of some assistance in that case. Well, what was that? This bamboo tube I back reacts to underground minerals. I should be able to easily detect where the hot spring water is. You sure about that, Gramps? Yep, my bamboo wear never lies. First, I'll need some help. Now be a good wolfie and dig me a hole. It'll be fun, like a game. Let's do it. Thank you, both of you. Very well, I'll explain the hot spring digging game. When the game begins, I'll start walking around. Your job is to rapidly dig so I can get deep in the ground. If 
But be careful. Many dangers lurk underground. I'll focus on walking, so I won't be able to avoid danger. And if I get hurt too badly, I won't be able to play anymore. But if I'm able to get deep underground, I'll show you where the hot spring water will bubble up. Shall I explain it again? Now we're good. Very well. Let the hot spring digging game begin. Okay, so use triangle and the square to break the rocks. Once you get your companion to the bottom, he'll tell you where the where to start digging. Um Ah, I see this now. Can we bomb this? Nope. Oh wait, we can. Get it on me. Looks like we have to bomb this. No, no, no. Cramps, why are you on the spikes, bro? Come on. Let's keep bombing. heck is this? Come on, old man. Tell me where to dig. You got this. Right here? You did it. That wasn't too bad. This bomb spam all day. Water, water. The water's flowing again. See, I told you my bamboo wear never lies. Well done, Ami. Thank you, both of you. I'll never forget this. You both have free access to the bathhouse whenever you want. Oh, I'll dance the hot spring hop forevermore. Look, Ami, it's happening again. Is that a constellation, is it? Yep. Let's do it. We got quite a few stars to fill in this time. Was this an eel? Ah, Amaterasu, origin of all that is good, and mother to us all. I have remained hidden here, creeping along the water's surface. I, Niragami, god of water, am happy to bestow upon you my power, moisten the thirsty earth, and restore the glory of nature. Yurigami? Oh, that's the god of water. That must mean you got the water sprout brush technique. Ouch! Hot! Hot, 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 hot! 
fire! I'm on fire! <laughs> no, the fried drumsticks were a bad idea. Lucky for you, Ami needs some practice. Ami, try to put out that fire with the power of water sprout. Water sprout is a brush technique that harnesses the power of water. Place your brush over water, then draw a line. The water's power will pass into the line, creating a stream. But enough talk, you better try it before he becomes a crispy critter. Put your brush on that hot spring and draw a line to the sparrow. Ah, uh, yeah, I kind of missed. I'm kind of a pleb. What can I say? Excellent. No fried sparrow for you, but at least you can make a steam stream. But the power of water sprout doesn't stop there. See that bubbling water in the middle of the hot spring? That's called a power spring. Water power is concentrated there. If you draw a line straight up from that bubbling water, I bet you can create an amazing column of water. Okay, let's try that. That's what I'm talking about. Now you can control power springs. Hey, I didn't know you could do that. Maybe we could use this to find treasures in high places. Let's draw a water column whenever we see a power spring. Okay, so I guess we don't need to go through the gate anymore. Or, I guess we do. Wishful thinking. Sup, Clover? Um... Okay. We still have the issue of getting through there. What about... this? Noise. Here we come, doggy. There's somebody up here. That could be the dog, I guess. Nope. Now what's the matter? Tweet! Tweet! Whoa, get a load of Tweety here. Hey, what's with all the chirping, kid? Don't call me kid. I have a name, you know. It's Ty. I'm not chirping, I'm crying. Tweet! Tweet! Cry baby Ty. Oh, you're crying. So what's with that freaky cry of yours? Taki's lost. He disappeared while we were out for a walk. Tweet, tweet. Who's Take? Is he a friend of yours? He's my dog. I lost my dog. Tweet, tweet. I ah, will find your dog for you. Uh. Whoa, the canine tracker suddenly appeared. That must mean. We're close by to our canine buddy. Is that Take? Perhaps? The one and the same? Oh, tigers. Cool. Give me that XP. If you know what's good for you. Hmm? You see that, Ami? Unless I'm hallucinating or something. That bamboo over there looks like it's flashing. Maybe we'll find something interesting inside, if we cut it down. No, no. You're supposed to cut down the bamboo that's lit up. It's so obvious. I mean... You can cut them all down, isn't that good too? But fine. Bingo! What's a dog doing in there? Tweet! Talkie? Talkie's back! Take? What's wrong, boy? Why are you growling? Tweet? 
Wait a minute. Was it this white wolf who spirited you away? Oh, give me a break. Hey, wait. I think this flea bag's trying to say something. Hmm. White wolf. What right do you have to bear the canine tracker? Fight me and prove that you are worthy. Canine warrior G. G. You hear that, Ami? This must be one of the canine warriors. That canine tracker really set him off. What'll it be, Ami? Yeah, let's pick a fight, of course. Okay, you sure you're ready? Don't hold back now. We're ready, come on. Bring it! Whoa, this guy can jump? Bullet. I learned your attack pattern, bro. That's interesting. Never seen that before. Easy peasy. A little bit slow, but can't really complain. Oh, apparently I got a good time. Well, okay. Whatever. Cut it out. Leave him alone. I won't allow you to bully Take like that. Keep it up and I'll clobber you. Wait a second, Tweety. We're not bullying anybody. Right, you flea bag? Come on, say something. I know Princess Fuse summons me. It is my duty to defeat Crimson Helm, the filer of the Gale Shrine. But I cannot return. This place is in grave danger. The monsters will overrun Sasa Sanctuary without me. And the Sparrow Tribe, they would all be. Oh, what shall I do? You obtain Duty Orb. What's this? The Power Orb has chosen you. I need worry no longer. I shall remain here and battle the monsters for the Sparrow Tribe. Even separated, the hearts of the Canine Warriors beat as one. Huh? Hey, wait a second. The Power Orb has chosen you. I am now freed from my duty. Follow where your heart leads. Huh? Okay, whatever. I suppose it'll all make sense eventually. Alright, so I guess that we have the power of this guy, so it's off to our next boy. Ah! What a fabulous hot spring. Wolfie, I heard a ruckus from afar, but why don't you wash off all that grime in the hot spring? A uh, hot spring? I think we'll pass. Anyway, it isn't about time you started looking for bamboo. Oh, you're right. The festival is just around the corner. It falls on the night of the full moon. The night of the full moon? Yep. Kamiki Village holds the Kamiki Festival on the night of the full moon during this time of year. You've heard of the legend of how the great heroes Nagi and Shiro Nui defeated the terrible beast with the help of the gods, haven't you? That's why the village pays homage to the gods and the sacred tree. This year is the 100th anniversary of the beast's defeat. I'd better finish that bamboo ware I want to sell at the festival. Hot dog, I just love festivals. We gotta remember to go back to Kamiki Village on that day. Oh, and by the way, Wolfie, I'd like to give you a little something to thank you for your help in the hot spring digging game. It isn't much, but you may find it useful. Here you go. You obtain a mermaid coin. Nice. Thanks, Gramps. Whoa, that's some grubby pocket change. There are many small springs known as mermaid springs across Nippon. 
They say you can pass between them by tossing in one of these coins. It's true, you could travel across Nippon in the blink of an eye. Really? Those are some wicked coins. They must be extremely valuable. No, not really. You can even buy them at stores around here. I only keep it because it was kind of cute. I don't have much, so you'll have to excuse me. It's almost festival season. The full moon will soon rise. It's been exactly 100 years since that beast was slain, but I always think of Kaguya when I talk about the moon. Ah, how she used to love gazing up at the moon. Ah, there I go again, reminiscing about the past. I'll end up in the poorhouse if I don't finish my bamboo wear soon. <laughs>